speed, endurance, strength. These vital measures of performance go up every year. This season, the demands on players are even greater following the decision to reduce interchange rotations to just 90 per game. Making sure they're ready for that challenge is the responsibility of high performance manager, Brett Burton. A couple of rule changes this year. The, the, the most significant one from, from our point of view is the, the 90 rotations, you know, going from 120 down to 90. That's pretty significant. Um, you know, what it means from our training is, uh, is really just a, a bit more aerobic training. You know, the guys are just going to have to uh, last out there a bit longer before they get a rest. And when they do get a rest, um, they're obviously on the bench for longer. So, um, you know, we've catered to, uh, to the guys, uh, different guys in different positions and, and trade them accordingly. Only a nine-week pre-season uh, this year with the with the boys, uh, you know, making the, the second week of the finals last year. So, really, uh, you're relying on the players, um, you know, following their program in the off-season and, and preparing themselves to uh, to the right level. And uh, you know, fortunately, they they were they were able to do that. And um, and then we, you know, we had to focus on I can, two things: getting them fit, but also making sure that uh, they were able to you know, learn the game plan and uh, and all the new strategies under Pikey and uh, you know, feel as though we've uh, been able to do that. Uh, fortunately, we've had a pretty uh, healthy squad. Um, you know, pretty much from week two or three of pre-season, we had a few guys uh, hanging over from uh, off-season surgery. But in the main, we've had probably 90% of guys, um, you know, completing most of the sessions. So um, that's good. Um, that means we've been able to get a, a lot of work into them, and, and importantly, obviously, uh, train them to, to learn uh, Pikey's game plans. Every week on the Crows Show, Aussie Ripper Roast will help us learn a little more about each of the players. First up, Brody Smith took time out with Wayne Miller, a first round draftee who's certainly been catching the eye. Wayne Miller, welcome to the first edition of the Ripper Roast. Oh, thanks for having me. Let's find out a little bit more about you. And um, Adelaide supporter growing up? Yeah, Adelaide Crows. Yeah, Adelaide Crows. so run us through the feeling, draft night, your name gets called out by the Crows. Once a, once a pikey walked out and called my name, it was just, it was just unreal. Yeah, a few tears from the family? Yeah, well, <laughs> no, no, only, only my dad, which, and he was the one that said he wasn't going to cry, so... Yeah. Um, Mum and Nan were all good, but Dad was crying. Now, speaking of your dad, we, um, we had a club introduction day with all the first year boys. I went along and um, run us through his outfit. He had a, a hat on, an interesting hat. Yeah, it was an interesting <laughs> hat. Um, so he rocked up with, a, with an Essendon hat on. Later on in the day, Pikey's um, stopped the whole, the whole crew that was there and he's going, oh, Wayne, I've got a, got a present for you. He's whooped out a um, crow's hat. Very nice. Um, and uh, who's looked after you the most? Obviously, Eddie's got all the boys together. You have a few dinners there, but is there anyone else that sort of took you under their wing and looked after you? Yeah, currently it's been pretty good. Um, and then Charlie, obviously, staying with Charlie, so they've been, they're two that's been pretty good as well. I've been told you're the angel of a football club. Could get no, no dirt on you. <laughs> is there, have you done anything wrong in your life ever? Because I couldn't get anything no, on there's, you. There'd be a couple there, but... Keep them to yourself. <laughs> yeah, keep them to yourself. <laughs> How did the Facebook requests go? Draft night and then debut in the NAB? Yeah, there was a few there. Few my through. phone went flat. Um, <laughs> after my name got called out, so <laughs> the next morning I was, there was a few there. Yeah, so. Just carry a charge around with you now? Mm, no, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> In my car. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, mate. Appreciate no, it. Thank you. James Podziadley has been a wonderful acquisition to the club since coming across from Geelong. Always popular with other players, he's now made the transition to coach, where you're no longer one of the boys. In this segment, Under the Coach's Roof, brought to you by Revolution Roofing, Potts tells us how he's adapted to the new role. First of all, the opportunity to be a, a coach um, at the Crows came along towards the end of in the last year. From, a, from an opportunity point of view to work with Don Pike and, uh, and, and David Teague, Scott Camparelli, Clarkie and our development coaches um, has been you know, fantastic for me over the summer. I think I've been really fortunate that, I've, that we've got a great playing group here and they've probably embraced me being a player and then going into a coach. Relationships in coaching these days and um, with a generation of players coming through are really important. Um, it's something that I've um, got to continue to develop uh, and now it's just in a different sort of uh, way as a, as a coach. But um, the playing group, especially the defenders and the, and the backs have been um, phenomenal in, in helping me adjust to, to being a coach. Time for our defenders and our team actually is, is now. So I've seen over the summer that 
um, you know, the, the leadership growth of Smith, Brown, uh, Laird, even Talia being an older guy, Hardigan, these guys are very, um, very much now leaders from my perspective. It is exciting to coach, coach the group.